Hi friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Trisha Miller and we are doing a deep dive into the depths of our master bathroom today. It has needed a deep cleaning for the longest time and I'm finally doing it today. The bathroom is my least favorite place to clean. So I, when I do it, I tend to really just invest the time in it because I know it'll last longer then and then I don't have to clean it as often. So I'm gonna share with you guys all my tips and tricks so that it'll actually last longer. I have this formula I like to mix together for the shower. I'm gonna show you, I finally figured out what to use on my glass shower doors and the steps that I do for that. And just to show you everything I go through, the process I go through when I'm cleaning that bathroom to make it a little less painful. So thank you so much for being here today. Please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, turn on the notifications, all the things we are on Instagram and Facebook at Miller Family Vibes. I just have a lot of fun things planned for this summer and I'm so thankful that you are here today. All right, first thing I'm going to do, well, first of all, I'm FaceTiming with my dad while I'm doing this in case you're wondering who I'm talking to, but I am decluttering the countertop. So anything that I don't use on a daily basis, I just put away and I'm just sticking in the drawers for now. We are not going to organize the drawers today. That whew, We're going to save that for another day, but that is going to come up soon because I want to do all the drawers in my bathroom. I want to do all the cabinets. There's a lot of cabinets in my house that I want to declutter and organize with you. So that will be coming soon. Don't you worry. Next thing, it was sad. I dropped a brand new piece of makeup on the floor this morning. It's glass on the bottom. It cut my finger. It was a whole chaotic event, but I didn't want to throw it away because it's brand new. I just bought it. So I just put tape on it. It looks real classy. make our magical shower formula. I did an extra amount in here this time because I wanted to use it for the bathtub as well. But you're essentially putting about a quarter cup Dawn, quarter cup baking soda, about two tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide. And then I did about 10 drops of, I did the peppermint essential oil, but you could do tea tree. I mean, essentially whatever smell you love, that would be what I would recommend for that. And you're going to mix it up and it's almost going to be a little bit like a paste because of the baking soda. And then our next step is gonna to be to take just a reg regular sponge and we're gonna basically just scrub it on all the walls, all the floor, and then I'm gonna do the same thing in my bathtub as well. Definitely be careful when you were walking around your shower like that because it is very slippery with the dawn all over the floor. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for about 20 to 30 minutes before we scrub it. And so I'm just gonna start vacuuming up all the hair in the bathroom. And then we're gonna get our tub scrubbed out and just get all the things done that can get done. And then we'll go back to the shower and give it some extra love.
So this little area table I recently just set up, I refer to it as my relaxation station, my self-care mama area. You know, it's there can be some long days. And all the moms out there, we deserve a little area just for ourselves. If you're wondering about the swim floaty that I have in my bathtub, it is actually probably for a reason you would never guess. So I'm a little short. Fun fact, I'm less than five, ba well, barely five two. I'll say five two. You might not believe me if you meet me in person. But I, when I sit in the bathtub and I like to relax, oops, sorry about my bumper being right in your face. But when I like to relax, I kind of sink down under the water. So Stephen came up with this really good idea of just putting the swim floaty at the end of my feet. And it just makes me a little bit taller. All right, so here's some products that I'm going to link below for you guys. I tried these for the first time and they worked exactly how I was hoping they would. So we have this like little drain area right there. You'll see it in our bathtub and it gets that pink stuff in it and it fit perfectly a toothbrush is, is like my go-to for everything but the toothbrush was too big for this area and this little stick worked magic finally I got that thing clean because you know I was staring at that pink stuff every time I was taking a bath in our shower I'm just adding a little bit more water to it because it started to dry up a little bit and we are going to use this spinning brush to clean it this product has been such a time saver for me and I will link it below in the video description but the first couple times that I cleaned the shower I was hand scrubbing every piece of grout every tile it took me over an hour this tool cuts the time by like a tenth it is just incredible I made it maybe took me 10 minutes to do this entire shower with it and it's just like so satisfying to see it cleaning everything um, and also just to let you know if you've been with me from the beginning I have something new that I am doing in my video description with my links you're going to see that I have a disclaimer that that I earn a small commission on these links. So I am now an Amazon associate. And so if you use my link and you purchase some of these products, I get a very, very, very small commission off of that. And just thank you in advance because that helps support this channel. And just know I will only offer products that you know I use and you know I love. I will honest, always be honest with that. So thanks in advance if you decide to purchase some of these products. One step forward and another back I will never try to fool ya I'm one heartbeat away from going mad Girl, when you're looking like that Closer, closer I'ma get closer to you Yeah, got me, baby Got me hooked on you once again The shower is smelling amazing. It is spotless. It is now time to work on these glass doors. Dawn Power Wash is the VIP here. It is the easiest thing to use. If you don't have any Power Wash, go grab it. They have it everywhere, grocery store, Target, Walmart, all the places. You spray it on. I just use then a sponge and I'll just kind of wipe it around 
and then I rinse it off and then I use my squeegee and I squeegee it off and the shower looks amazing. Now if you have a lot of soap scum build up on your shower door, you can use just like straight vinegar to remove all of that and then I would maybe follow it up with the power wash because we all know how vinegar smells so you're not going to want to leave that smell in your shower. And it's just, it really, really works. And honestly, using the squeegee every time you shower, it's worth the effort because it does keep it looking better longer. So get a squeegee, hang it up, use it. It'll be your best friend. Every moment is another chance. Loving you is all I wanted. I'm wide open for a love affair. Girl, when you look like that. I'ma get closer to you, yeah Got me, baby, got me hooked on you once again Damn, girl Now it's time to use the other product that I showed earlier that I got off of Amazon. It is just these tiny little bristle brushes, and I'm using it in my shower head. There's just been some buildup in there, and it fit in all the bigger holes it didn't fit in the smaller ones, but I don't know if anything is going to fit in those, but it worked perfect for those bigger ones. And I'm just kind of unclogging all the gunk that is building up in there. So I will link that one below for you. And then I used my other little product again for the bottom of my door. I've been having the hardest time getting just all the yucky gunk out of the bottom of the door. And as you can see, it fit perfectly. I'm so, so excited about this new purchase that I did with these. So you can see, you can see the, the grossness just coming right off of it. So it worked really nice under there. Highly recommend it. I will link those below. Things are starting to get serious. I'm putting my hair in a ponytail. So we are going to tackle the toilet, my least favorite thing to clean. 
Um, I will wear gloves when I do the toilet. And then I tend to use more disposable types of cleaning products when I'm doing the toilet. I just worry about cross-contamination. So I'm going to use some Lysol wipes when I wipe it down instead of microfiber cloths. And when I scrub the toilet bowl, I use... They're disposable. I can't even think of the name right now. I think it's the Clorox brand, but I'll, it's like the Clorox toilet wand or something like that, but I'll link it below for you. I just find it to be the easiest way to do it. And so something to keep in mind, if you have any males that live in your house, I have quite a few, you know, sometimes they miss the toilet. So I use an enzymatic cleaner when I clean the floor. It just does a really good job kind of neutralizing all those things that are around the toilet. And I will link that one below for you. They sell it at Target. Almost confident that they probably sell it even at the grocery store, but you can certainly get it at Amazon and all the places. And it just, it smells good. It neutralizes everything. And it's just an essential part of my cleaning. Also, I would have never believed that I one day would have a YouTube channel where people would watch me clean my toilet. But here we are. And I love it. Last step, I am just giving the floors a little refresh with my Tineco wet dry mop. It is the most amazing thing ever. It vacuums and mops at the same time. It's so easy to use. I use it on my hardwood floors as well. And after I do this, I'm just going to get my rugs out of the dryer, put my towels and my rugs back into the bathroom. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was a little less painful knowing that you guys were going to be here with me. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. We're on Instagram and Facebook at Miller Family Vibes, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.